Oh my God. We just went on one of the most treacherous and death-defying rides ever, and death-defying because Rashab nearly died. But first, in the last episode, we braved treacherous rows to unveil the majestic Seven Falls of Jammu, then find refuge in a spellbinding meadow for the night. Today's journey promises an adrenaline rush like no other as we traverse death-defying roads towards the most breathtaking hill station I've ever been to. Get ready to be amazed. Namaste Dosto, we're here in heaven. This is Sarthal in the Jammu region of India. And today we're gonna to conquer these mountains behind us. We're gonna ride all the way to Parava. There's not many people around, I've barely seen any tourists. So yeah, it's gonna be a good ride today. Let's see what's on the route now, cello. I'm gonna miss this place guys. I'm gonna miss this place so much. Just see where we are, Sartal. There's shepherds there with their buffaloes. There's more buffaloes down here and horses. From the bridge, the flowing water. You can come for a swim down here. Have your bath down here in the morning. Sheep. It's just a beautiful, beautiful location. Let's hit the road. We bid farewell to Saratal and then we turn the corner into this. Yeah, more roadworks. Should this road have been closed while it was being renovated? Probably. Riding through this mud is no picnic either. It cakes our tires, kills traction and messes with our balance. As unfortunately for us, you'll see soon. Look at this. <laughs> oh, they are completely messed up. Yeah, I was just thinking, let's try and take some off. <laughs> Yet despite the challenges, I'm grateful this road is open because look at where it leads. But with this beauty comes a hidden danger lurking around the bend just after I stop to admire these beautiful buffaloes. Look at these buffaloes down here drinking from wherever this water's coming from. And now we're gonna have to cross it. I'm looking for a shallow part, but I can't see shit, so I think over here. <laughs> How are we gonna get up here, bro? <laughs> It'll be fun, let's go. Yeah. Let's wait and see what he does. Yeah. Oh, those trucks aren't going up, man. As I looked ahead, I spotted the truck drivers on the hill pondering their next move. We're on adventure bikes, but the challenge ahead seems daunting, especially for a truck. Okay, now I have to get through this mess. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Whew. Well, that sucked. Huh? 
अभी तो पैर लगे नहीं है नीचे अब देखते हैं ओके थैंक यू शुक्रिया This grass looks safe to ride on, but it's extremely damp and my bike and I are just sinking. There's no traction. This entire area is just a soggy sinkhole. Okay, Arun's down. You okay? Yeah. It was this uh, like cow dung actually. Oh yeah, it's I light. Hit the brake, hit the brake. Right. Don't push it. Let's reverse it again. Then push it towards. Hang on, uh, okay. Better turn it on bro. Gear, no? I'm wait. slipping though, I can't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Turn it on and like walk it and drive it at the same time. Maybe go down more. Uh, let let wait. I'm handling it. Let him come. Okay. Whew. <sighs> Okay, you got it, you got it. <sighs> Man, what a mission. See how the road is up here. Okay, it's dry. Whee. Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Tell me about it. Alright, let's try. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we gotta go Big this right. way now, no? Yeah, yeah. Right side. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. 
लेट्स पिक इट अप नाउ चलो रिशभ स्टार्ट कर बैट होते हम पुश करते हैं इट्स गोना स्लाइड डाउन ब्रो देयर्स अम There's rocks in the way, bro. It's blocked. Rocks in the way. Yes, yeah, blocked. Looks blocked. We have to get through this rock pile. Then there's a water crossing. Then there's a car blocking the road. Water crossing. Then there's more mud. And you can see there's rocks tumbling down. <laughs> We just cleared the way. But there's more rocks coming down now. So let's see. <laughs> given us the okay to go so let's go i'll wait for aron actually jitna hi dekhne mein lag raha hai na usse kaafi zyada tough hai एक मिनट माई लैपटॉप इज भी ब्रोकन थैंक बैक पर माई लैपटॉप इज ब्रोक लेट्स क्रॉस दिस ओके दैट वॉज केरी मैन या नो मैन टू क्लोज In that moment, I didn't know what to say. I was speechless. I felt the weight of Rashab's close call. It was a stark reminder of the danger of these under construction roads, and the challenges weren't over yet. You wanna watch the tire? No, it's okay. I'll just keep going, man. I, it looks okay there, right? No, it, it does not. Look at those. But it's going to get muddy straight away, man. Like in two seconds. But still, it's less for them. Yeah. I've ridden in some pretty challenging situations before, but uh, yeah, uh, it's very difficult when there's tons of mud, rocks falling down the hill, water crossings. I've driven on worse though. I've driven on literal ice, literally ice, ice roads. That was the craziest ride I ever did, and stupid, also stupid. Let's keep going. You can hear the tiredness in my voice, right? It'll be fun by the end of the day once we reach. And we'll be like, yeah, we did that. We made it. We can't get it. But until then, ah. Boy, it's not a big stone on the top. And on the laptop, I fell. I didn't know if there was any damage. There was a minor crack here. But thank God, there was no major damage. Because the screen is only 17,000. So thank God, we are safe. हाँ गोपर पर रिकॉर्ड हुआ पूरा पत्थर एंड अरे यार ये मुझे सबसे ज्यादा दुख हुआ बाइक का 
let's go here. Oh, I can see the stones better on this side actually, I'm going to go to this side. Alright, let's go. Buffalo, Buffalo. quite a lot in the water you can see like the best path and I think it's gonna be along here <laughs> oh man well now I'm soaked <laughs> is there any more water crossings uh, I don't think so uh. no this there won't be another, I guess. Crazy, man. I'm just going to empty out my shoes. Huh? I'm just going to empty my shoes. Same here. Oh, man. Talk about a ride. So my whole body's like just drenched. Uh, this is a good case for wearing proper riding boots. Proper riding boots, waterproof riding boots that go all the way up your wow. leg. <laughs> oh man. Wet feet for the second day in a row. Just gonna leave it draining for a few minutes. And now for the other one. <laughs> See my socks. Oh, there you are. As we stumbled upon this magnificent spot, it reminded me of the essence of motorcycle riding. It's about escaping the daily grind, saddling an engine, and traveling to hard to reach places, then sharing the joy of that with fellow riders. Moments like these fuel my passion for riding, blending freedom, adventure, and camaraderie into unforgettable experiences that stay with us long after the engines have gone quiet. That's riding, and Jammu is a damn good place to do it. Oh my god. We just went on one of the most treacherous and death-defying rides ever, and death-defying because Rashab nearly Died. Seriously, it was damn scary. We're here, we've reached Chatra Kala. This is a mountain range and a mountain pass here in the Jammu region of Jammu and Kashmir. And this region is out of this world, and this mountain pass separates two different regions of Jammu. Rishab, bro, 
I'm so glad you're okay, man. Yeah. That was one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. And I have seen one other death-defying thing like that. My brother-in-law falling off his bike and getting run over by a truck. Oh my God. But he survived because the truck ran over his panniers. Uh. He just stood up straight afterwards. And I watched it all in my rear view mirror. And I, that was the same feeling today, man. My heart skipped a beat for a second. I was so scared that I, yeah. I threw the bike and ran. <laughs> how, did you deal, how did you make a decision so quick, man? I had to, there was no other choice. The, uh, the rock was this huge. <laughs> I know, I, I didn't even have time to react. I was just in shock, I'm like. Yeah, I just left the bike and ran away. You did such a good job, bro. Like, I'm still scared uh, when I'm remembering that. Nah. Uh, I'm, nah, it's anxiety hitting me yeah. <laughs> that I could have died today. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it was not my day. <laughs> I mean, you survived, so it was your day. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, we need to keep these, my, these things in mind when we come on adventures. No? Yeah, we got to be so careful. Let's keep riding, eh, bro? Yeah, Let, yeah. Let's get down to Bharava. Yeah. This road leads down to the hill station Bhadarava, and to our relief, most of the roads were already constructed. After surviving that journey, I couldn't help but think how fortunate it was that we began our trip with blessings at a temple in Basoli. As you saw, we certainly needed them, na? Nah? And it seems I may need them again soon, because my next adventure after this one, which isn't over yet by the way, will take me from Delhi all the way to the China border at Kunjarab Pass. I think we'll stop here and get a nice chai. Okay, wow, yeah. So, this is the Arun Bhaiya and Kaal. I'm most probably going to get a rest of the day. It's beautiful, yeah. Hill is very beautiful. And this is JK Tourism. And if you plan to come to the next one, make sure you can stay here. Yeah, man, thank God everybody is okay. That was a crazy ride. But you don't have to worry because by the time this video comes out, most of that road should be completed, especially that that hard section. Like you can see here, this road is beautiful. It's like a racetrack kind of. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna link a blog post and that's gonna have the entire route because I'm sure a lot of people after seeing this are gonna wanna do this. And like Aaron said, Jammu is beautiful, but a little dangerous. But that danger is going away with all the development that's happening there. And yeah, this, this road will be fully paved and I think this would be the next big tourism boom in Jammu and Kashmir, this specific road, because it's just blown me away. Jayhind. Stick around because in the next episode, I take you for a tour of this difficult to reach but utterly picturesque hill station. Switzerland, eat your heart out, mate.